hi everyone uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up this whatsapp login or uh, the whatsapp OTP verification like uh, if you're building a uh, chatbot application for example you're deploying it on web chatbot or some somewhere you want to verify a, or verify or validate a customer's phone number so you can use this method to uh, validate or send OTP to their WhatsApp number so basically in this demo I'm gonna show you like uh, just uh, I already built the flow so basically uh, we need to collect the user phone number so uh, here is a question to uh, collect that question uh, input from the customer so we will ask them to input their phone number and we, we are safe that uh, information into a variable called WhatsApp number here then next step we have we are uh, running an uh, uh, script JavaScript to generate an uh, six digit pin number uh, OTP number here you can see if I execute this it will randomly generate a uh, six digit uh, number every time each time when we go through this flow the script will execute a um, OTP number so which is uh, we are mapped like uh, which is we are mapped into a variable called WhatsApp OTP and it's already mapped and then next thing is we need to send a, uh, send uh, this OTP to a uh, WhatsApp uh, number so the number which we collected here uh, which is we stored into a variable called WhatsApp number same thing we are sending into uh, we are sending a WhatsApp template message to that particular number with the OTP message so here you can see there is a variable here uh, that variable we are mapping with the WhatsApp OTP uh, so we are sending into the customer customers for a WhatsApp number directly through in, uh, through this method uh, the customer will receive the number after they receive they can uh, enter the OTP uh, into this test uh, test input field here we are asking them to enter the OTP so we are mapping into another variable called OTP check after this step then we have an uh, if condition we are checking whether the uh, uh, the OTP uh, entered by the user is matching with the, uh, the generated OTP at the time if it is matching then we can print the message logging successful otherwise we can send them an error message to try again so this is the basic setup flow what uh, uh, we uh, I have built it here this is the same thing which I showed in the demo video which which you have seen uh, earlier so uh, before uh, going to uh, executing the demo like first of all uh, for the whatsapp template like if, uh, if you are on rapid Pro platform you need to have a uh, whatsapp channel connected you can either connect uh, using any of the bsps or you can connect your cloud api using the cloud api integration you can connect your whatsapp account once it is done uh, like open the builder uh, if you have a number already connected and open open the builder uh, inside the builder go to the content contents section go to the content section uh, you, here you can find a message template so uh, first of all you need to get a template message ready or uh, uh, approved from the meta first then only we can send the template OTP message like if you want to use it use it inside a flow so here you can see the plus button like new template click on it you can give any name here uh, just for uh, yeah any name you can give in the category remember to select the authentication then only we can uh, get the OTP uh, that particular template so here you can choose the language which language you want to send this OTP on which language if it is English uh, leave it leave it as it is then uh, here if you want to change the button test or something that you can provide here uh, after doing this step you can click on send to review these kind of authentication messages will not take much time to get approved it, it will be uh, take a couple of seconds or like it, sometimes it will be instantly get approved so depending upon how meta uh, on the nature of the message it will be done like if it is on english it will be pretty quick uh, you will get approved it like after uh, doing that you can click on the sync button if it is pending you can see the status of pending if it is approved you can see the uh, status approved so uh, after that step uh, you can go to the action block uh, that is in the action block if you open the action block uh, you can go to uh, notifications there you can find the whatsapp template notification in that uh, first of all you need to map which number you want to send the oh, so the variable we created is whatsapp number 
and you need to select the template message for in our case this is a template message we already have a template message approved so i'm selecting the same template message as you can see so the message you can see and you can map the variable where you are uh, creating the otp so we have the uh, whatsapp otp there's a variable called whatsapp otp this way you can map all the variable as it is you need for the uh, template and you can hit on the save button so for now i'm deleting it we already have everything set it up so let me publish this flow and let me preview this flow for you for you guys so let's preview it in the builder itself uh okay first of all in this uh, we need to do a small tweak here uh this is a uh, an active demo project so previously i've done uh, i removed the test input field so i need to enable it back so let me enable it that back so let me publish it again let me preview this flow once again so the test bar is enabled now let me provide my whatsapp number here you can see i got the otp message here i'm copying the code uh, let me copy the code i'm just copying this code let's paste it uh, like let's make uh, uh, some uh, error uh, like let's check the error validation so i entered the code with, uh, with more than 60 digits it gave the error message let's try again let's enter the actual code now and let's uh, send like here you can see login successful so this way you can uh, build uh, your own uh, login flow uh, and uh, you can make it uh, uh, or approve your whatsapp number so this is a uh, quick demo video that we build based on our, our one of our clients project that we are uh, working on so we thought it will be really uh, helpful for you guys who are looking into building something like this uh, and uh, if you guys have any further questions or any doubts uh, feel free to contact us or write uh, in in below in comments thank you